Happy Wednesday, church family, uh, North Charlestown Church of God family. Um, I just wanted to again hop on here and give you all um, a quick announcement, some encouragement, and at the end prayer as we've been doing. Um, Pastor Nalen is doing okay, uh, and Sandra is um, also hanging in there, but they are still needing a lot of prayers. Um, and again, that's Pastor Nayla McClellan and Sandra McClellan, his wife. And so we just want to continue to keep them uplifted. Um, and all those that have either been exposed to COVID-19 um, or have been tested positive. A lot of healing that needs to be prayed over. So uh, please continue to do that. And um, if you have been exposed, then please stay quarantined. It does help with the spread. And again, social distance, stay six feet apart, use hand sanitizer, keeping your hands clean, and wear your mask um, at all times. So, unless you're in your home, of course. But when you're out in public, uh, please wear it. So just continue to stay healthy, church. Um, we certainly do miss you, and hopefully uh, coming Sunday, December 20th, we will be back into service again in person. And that will hopefully be our Christmas service um, to celebrate that. So I do want to share with you, though, again, uh, some verses of encouragement. Since Christmas is coming up, and even though we don't know the exact date of the birth of Jesus, we do take this time of December to reflect um, on his earthly birth. And so I want to look at some verses in Luke and I'm just going to be reading a section of it, and it's actually going to be Mary's praise song. Um, so after Mary, in this biblical scene, after Mary meets Elizabeth, um, you know, she, Elizabeth kind of already tells something's going on with her, that she's got a baby in her womb immediately, and she tells Mary that she is very blessed. Um, and then Mary kind of just praises God during this time because... Uh, she realizes that she is just a humble servant to him, that she got picked, um, you know, out of so many other possible, you know, candidates. And so, uh, you know, she is very humble. So there are some things, though, that she talks about that I just want to mention and, and praises God for, because it's definitely things that we can um, apply to right now in 2020. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to be in Luke chapter 1, and this is verse 46 through 55, so I'm just going to read. It says, And Mary said, My soul praises the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit rejoice in, rejoices in God my Savior, because he has looked with favor on the humble condition of his servant. Surely from now on, all generations will call me blessed, because the Mighty One has done great things for me, and His name is holy. His mercy is from generation to generation on those who fear Him. He has done a mighty deed with His arm. He has scattered the proud because of the thoughts of their hearts. He has toppled the mighty from their thrones and exalted the lowly. He has satisfied the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel, remembering his mercy to Abraham and his descendants forever, just as he spoke to our ancestors. So a lot of things that Mary covers um, to praise God for, and I think we can learn a lot from, from these things. You know, God is still moving. Um, I was watching a sermon from another pastor the other day in church service, and um, it was actually on television, and he talked about how 2020 can be the year of favor and going into 2021 can be the year of favor because even though we are going through so much uh, turmoil right now and, you know, health issues, um, God is still uh, favors us. He still loves us and cares for us, and Mary points that out. Um, that, you know, he was even there for our ancestors, so obviously he's going to show up for us, okay? Um, yeah, I mean, this is a year where basically um, all of society and humanity itself has been flipped upside down. So 
what was isn't and what is is so <laughs> you have to kind of deal with it day by day and um, praise God in all of it so we just want to encourage you in that and let you know that because of Jesus because of um, the Lord we are able to get through these times and just like Mary we need to stay humble and to not forget all that he's done because he is a God that is for us and not against us all right church family so hopefully again like I said December 20th we will be back with in-person services please continue to keep Pastor Nalen and his family in prayer um, and all you know we are still having our youth services online if you're a student watching um, and if you're not then uh, if you're an adult watching then please check out our YouTube channel we have past sermons for Nalen on there um, well Nalen preaching and uh, singings and different things so you know you don't have to waste this time you can still worship and reflect on God's goodness all right church family we do love you um, and yeah, if you need any prayer, I'm gonna leave the contact box up here. So please uh, check that out, email us, call us, whatever uh, you need, especially if it's salvation. And uh, yeah, we're praying for you guys and we will get through this together, as Lisa says. All right, so now we're gonna pray together and then I hope you guys have a beautiful Wednesday even through all the snow and messy, rainy stuff, all right? Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you so much, God, for this time, Lord. We thank you for this time of reflection, Lord, when we are in our homes, God. May we use this time wisely and not waste it. May we spend um, just a fellowship with you, God, in the quiet. Lord, we do ask uh, that you would watch over those that, um, Lord, are dealing with COVID, cancer, different illnesses, procedures, surgeries, so many things going on um, at one time. And God, we do ask that you would comfort them. We ask that you would also be with those that have uh, lost loved ones this year, Lord. Um, some maybe couldn't even have uh, services for them and honor them. So Lord, we pray that you would uh, comfort them right now. Um, Lord, we pray for those that, uh, Lord, are having to spend the holiday alone God uh, maybe they can't get out or be with their families because right now it's just unsafe Lord we do pray for them and God we just pray Lord that um, if it be in your will for us to come back together Lord and have in-person service that Lord we would be able to do it safely that um, everyone would be encouraged Lord and um, even those that are watching online continuously and Lord we just ask Lord that um, again COVID-19 would end soon lord and that 2021 would be an even better year a better year for favor lord that we would uh, recognize that your hand on everything and that god uh, we would just trust in you lord we love you so much and in your precious name we pray all god's children said amen all right church oh and lisa wanted me to let you all know that on december 21st i think at 7 p.m I don't know whenever it gets really dark um it's supposed to show the in the sky the christmas star which it's been like 800 to 1200 years since it last was seen um and it is uh considered the star of bethlehem so be on the lookout for that i don't know you might be able to see it so we're looking forward to it all right love you church god bless